Hello everyone, this is Miss Erin from Hop Hog Public Library and welcome to another installment of the Alphabet Connection. Today we're going to be talking about the letter C. The letter C makes a K sound like camera, which I'm using to film myself right now, or cow. What else starts with the letter C? Cats, meow. Cupcakes, car, carrots, caterpillar, and crayons all start with the letter C. So what in your home starts with the letter C? Maybe there's some cantaloupe in your refrigerator or a couch in your living room. Why don't you go look to see what you can find that begins with the letter C. So now that you know more about the letter C, we're going to practice making the letter C. Now you can practice writing the letter C using the practice sheet that came in your Alphabet Connection kit or you can use things around your home to practice making the letter C. Today we're going to learn how to make a C with clay. To make the letter C using clay, you're going to take a small piece of clay and roll it on the table to try and make it long. See how it's starting to get longer? This is the same way you would make a snake or a caterpillar, which also starts with the letter C. You can use both hands or one hand until it starts to get much longer and thinner. There we go. I think that's good. Now to make the shape for the letter C, you can either use the C from your alphabet connection kit as a guide. You can have a grown-up draw a C on a piece of paper for you to use, or you can just do it freehand. So if you're going to do it on here, I would need to make it a little bit longer. Or you can do it right on the side, and there you have it. We have made the letter C out of clay. There are lots of fun activities that you can do for the letter C. You can start with the craft in the Alphabet Connection Kit, which is a caterpillar, which starts with C. All you need is some white glue and then take the caterpillar outline and glue on each of the little fuzzy balls in a line to outline the caterpillar. And then you can put on the googly eyes. And last, you can take the pipe cleaner that's in there, make a little V just like we did for the butterfly and glue it on the top there. And in the end, when you're done, it will look something like this. And then you can play with your little caterpillar friend. What else can we do for the letter C? For the letter C, you can color a picture. You can construct a castle. Another thing you can do for the letter C is clap. So I think we should sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stomp, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. 
If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Great job. That was a lot of fun. I think now it's time for a break, and Miss Fran has offered to read us one of her favorite books, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Hi, everybody. Today we've been talking about the letter C, and C is for caterpillar. Yay, I'm going to read you a story about a caterpillar. The story is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is by Eric Carle. I love this story. And there is the sun. And we all need the sun, right? Okay, here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See the little egg? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a teeny, very hungry caterpillar. Okay, you guys gotta help me. Get ready. He started to look for some food. Mmm, he looks pretty hungry. See him? Well, on Monday, he ate through the apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was, what was he? Come on, you know. Yup, he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one, pe one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, what's this? Yep, he ate through a cupcake and a piece of, that's right, watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh my goodness, he didn't feel very good from eating all that junk food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Oh my goodness, look at him. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon all around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. And then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. I love that story. Thanks for reading with me. See you next time. Some other books with C available at the library or online through Overdrive, Libby, or Tumble Books include Pete the Cat, Cars and Trucks and Things That Go, and Creepy Carrots. I had a lot of fun talking about the letter C with you today. Now it's time to practice the alphabet song. Oh, can I help you with something? Oh, you're looking for the castle? Oh, 
It's, uh, I left it in the children's section. Okay, apparently the castle has a resident now. That's good, right? Now, let's get to the alphabet song. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time for the letter D. Take care, everybody. For even more activities to do for the letter C or any other letter of the alphabet, check out the Early Literacy Activities Calendar available on Hophug Public Library's website. There you'll find activities for reading, writing, playing, singing, counting for every day of the year.